What is going on guys? This is Darezebo here today and I'm going to be bringing you guys all another tutorial. Today I'm just going to go over the basics of my HD PVR um, capture settings. I have a Hop Hodge HD PVR and so I'm just going to be showing you guys what settings I use to record and the best quality you're going to get and how to import it into Sony Vegas and After Effects. And so Let's go ahead and open up Total Media Extreme. This is the program that comes with your Hophodge HD PVR. And I'll put put a link to this in the description. Um, I believe the trial version, but you guys can go download it. If you don't have it, most of you should have it if you have an HD PVR. But um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I, I put this on PlayStation 3. I know I'm recording with an Xbox 360. But I like to put it on PlayStation 3 just because I like the M2TS files better. Um, it feels like they're more compatible with Sony Vegas and After Effects. And most of the time they're smaller file size. So I really like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And for video input, YPRB, RPB. And audio input, RCA back. PC audio mode, 2 channel stereo, device settings, I usually just use the same exact ones, you can set that to default, video decoder NTSC underscore M, um, you can check those two boxes, not sure if they really do anything, but just go ahead and click OK, for format settings, um, go ahead and set this to constant bitrate, default it's going to be at 8 megabytes per second, but for best quality, you're you're definitely gonna want 13.5 megabytes per second, and it's not really gonna be a much bigger file size. Um, nothing really that you're gonna be able to distinguish. It's gonna be bigger definitely, but it's worth it for the better quality. And so I usually disable bling LED simply because I don't like my HD PVR lighting up blue during the middle of me recording and. I use AC3 audio encoder just simply because it's more compatible with Sony Vegas and After Effects and so if I go ahead and capture my screen right now um, here's the screen I'm gonna capture right here but first we need to change some settings on our ex uh, on our actual Xbox and so just hit our middle Xbox button and come up here and go to system settings and just come down here to console settings display HDTV settings and as you can see I can set this to 1080p 1080i 720p or 480p but if you guys want 60 frames per second or 59.94 frames per second which pretty much all editors in today's um, day and age prefer um, 720p is what you need if you're gonna want smooth twixter and everything like that and so smooth twixter definitely put that on 720p um, that's pretty much all you need to mess with right there and so if we just go ahead and capture this um, I'm just gonna scroll through my friends list and so after I scroll through my friends list We'll be finished with that. I'm just going to go ahead and stop that recording. And all we need to do now is come into Sony Vegas and see if we can find that file. It's going to be right here. Let's wait for it to finish loading. And all we need to do, or actually, before you import, th import that in, sorry about that, go to File New and copy down these settings right here. Uh, 1280 by 720. Make sure your frame rate is 59.94 and just copy down all of these. A lot of you guys have been problems with uh, your HD PVR like it being zoomed in or static or anything like that. And so just copy down these settings for best results and start all project with these settings so you don't have to mess with that. And audio stereo 120 or 192,000 and bit depth 24 and think that's all you need to change <laughs> and then we need to just go ahead and import our clip here's our clip we can see it right here and 
if the background wasn't black you would notice that there's black bars and so what we need to do is click on event pan crop and I actually already have a preset here all you need to do is crop this and then you can just type in HD PVR whatever as your preset and click the save button and so those black bars will be black bars will be gone and come up here and go to properties make sure you disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio for best quality and that's pretty much all um, I'll put my render settings video link on the um, screen right now so you can click on that if you want to go into more depth about how I render my videos but that's pretty much all for Sony Vegas and then for After Effects same thing just go ahead and import your clip in there go to project and here's our clip right here we just need to drag it on this new composition thing right here and then just like last time we're gonna have little black bars so just grab the corner and crop that just a little bit and pretty much that's all I have for you guys I just wanted to show you how I record with my HD PVR and import it into Sony Vegas and After Effects um, for my render settings um, I've, you, I've already made a video on that so just go ahead and click on the screen right now if you want to watch that or stay tuned for some more of my other videos and so if you guys haven't yet go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Facebook and for the most recent updates you can get and so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you guys for watching this um, I'm back from my vacation if you didn't notice already and so I'll be bringing you guys lots more awesome tutorials leave your tutorial suggestions below and I'll see you next time guys this is Darius Rebo 